Yo, how is it going lads and welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video what I've got for you is the La Liga Player of the Month explana explanation video and investing guide all in one. Uh, first of all, I just want to show you guys this photo. This was on the EA Sports website, which is 100% confirming the La Liga Player of the Month is going to come. Uh, just wanted to throw that out there at the start of the video before people think that it's not going to come. It's just speculation. No, it's a real thing. It's definitely going to come. Um, and uh, we're going to go and talk about investments, safe investments, who I think is going to win, why, and you know all that good stuff. Uh, so if you do go into it to enjoy this video, leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel if you guys know and here. It's greatly appreciated. Just goes a long way, honestly. Subs on the channel. As much as it may not seem like, I, you know, I don't get paid for subs or anything like that, but it just means a lot. It's so motivating to see the channel growing every day. So I really do appreciate it. So first of all, let's talk about nominees. Now, the three nominees we know of so far, we have Stuani, Ibai, I think it's Ibai Gomez and Messi, obviously. Um, in terms of safe investments, there's a load of different routes you can go for this. Um, who do I think is going to win personally? If it comes down to any sort of fan vote, 100% Messi. Because Messi's like the fan favourite with this stuff. Uh, if not, Stuani's a very good guess. Um, but, it, you know, I don't watch the Liga uh, a whole lot. So, I couldn't promise you an answer. However, I do think that if there's any kind of fan vote involved, I think it will be Messi. Now, in terms of safe investing, if we go over to Footbin, this site, by the way, if you guys don't use Footbin, get on Footbin. It's an incredible site. Highly recommend it. We can set in parameters like a price range, uh, uh, what kind of rating card and a league so i've got la liga santander all gold for a 200 to 1.5k i think 1.5k is that sort of benchmark where if you're going over 1.5k you could potentially lose a couple hundred coins per card but if it's a high rated card you're probably not going to uh, and we have a list of 83s we have adan who by the way if you just straight up open the card and you go over to the next screen it tells you their live price and when it was updated so at the minute he's 1100 coins and was updated 15 minutes ago so if i went into the console he'd be about 1100 coins maybe even cheaper you might be able to snipe him it's late at night it's about 4 a.m so it's possible we have the same for savage william jose ever benega trigueros uh gerard moreno adaris lenglet like a bunch of different players so what i recommend doing is just scouring this market uh sorry this website even and then scouring the market if we were to remove one of the filters here and we were to go xbox maybe 200 to i don't know 1800 we might have a bunch more players i think 1800 is quite quite high you might lose uh, a little bit of coinage there however as you see actually it doesn't update at all i'm, I'm quite surprised by that I'm, i wonder what the threshold is uh the best way to do it is literally just by filtering custom price ranges in and and seeing what the uh the threshold so as you see there's a couple for there's, there's a nacho fernandez here for 2000 coins there's uh so that that's one more 83 there and i know for a fact if we went uh even further we went for like 200 to 2.5k for example you'll see maybe even some 84s definitely a few more 83s as you see we've got will and carvalho we've got malcolm and a bunch of other players so i'd go down this list first of all i think safe investments if you can get the non-rare players for like 650 to 750 coins that are 82 rated for example carlos Baca is a very good one uh, if we go back over to um to the console carlos Baca is a very very good one to do i think that um this guy is a safe investment because a lot of people straight off the bat i've got a custom price thing there a lot of people straight off the bat um will look to buy the non-rares thinking that they can automatically get them cheaper so if you've pay, paid between like five six hundred coins for an 82 rated non-rare you can flip that card easy for like a thousand five hundred coins without a shadow of a doubt the minute it drops or even within the hype i think that all 82s and 83s are safe investments if we were to look at someone like for example uh a savage a savage is a decent one because he's packed all the damn time if we went for a 750 uh 750 max price and just bid on a bunch of these players i think bidding is a great thing to do late at night so i'm bidding on these cards uh and then you just leave it honestly you just leave it for as long as you want and then come back maybe like the next night or the next day you see how many you've won and maybe you only win like out of 100 cards bidding on maybe you only win like 10 but it's still like a lot of coins you could be made because if we get a La Liga player of the month and in one of the squads is an 83 rated squad with a full La Liga team, this guy is going to go up to like 2,000 coins at bare minimum. You know, we saw him rise when we got the uh, the Juan Fran SBC. We saw this guy rise to like 2.5k and he's already down to like 1.1k. So that initial rise is pretty crazy and I think it's definitely... Definitely a move um, for sure. I think Adan's another one. Um, goalies are always quite cheap when it comes to SBCs. So uh, if you can pick this guy up for under a thousand coins, you'll make a few hundred coins at least per card. And it's all about the uh, 
essentially like the economies of scale that you use here like if you if you buy a load of them in bulk essentially you're going to make a load of bulk coins back it, it works like that so if you're going to buy like 10 for 8000 coins you sell 10 for I don't know, in total 11,000 coins, you made 3,000 coins profit. However, if you buy five for 4,000 coins, you sell five for, I don't know, 8,000 coins. You've only made four. Well, that that isn't right, actually. The, you know you know what point I'm trying to make. It's very late. I'm very tired. I'm essentially saying the more you buy, if you can afford more, the more coins you'll make. And these are no risk investments. You know, These are investments that aren't going to cost you a whole lot of coins. And if they don't come off, you're not going to lose anything. I just wanted to touch upon potential Argentinian investments. I think that if we did get Messi, I would bet my house on us getting an Argentinian squad requirement for that. So I think a great solid investment to match both of those would be an Ever Benega. Uh, if we go over back to um, to the console right now and we went over to uh, to this scene here, uh, Ever Benega would probably be a great one to buy or, or get a few bids on because he matches the, the Argentinian and the Liga. So if there's any ever kind of crossover... He'll make a lot. You make a lot of coins in this card. Sorry, he he will make a huge rise in terms of his price. So it's definitely worth bidding on a bunch of these cards. One hundred percent. Now it's interesting to think if we go over and look at, for example, the Eden Hazard SBC. Now a lot of people are going to sit here and say, and I know for a fact that a lot of comments are going to say, they'll, there's no way they'll ever give Messi a Player of the Month. It doesn't matter what you think. If Messi wins Player of the Month, he's getting an SBC. One hundred percent guaranteed there's nothing you can say that's wrong about that um but if we look at some of the uh some of the packs that we get given out uh let's have a look at i think there's a there's 250k pack ones here was there a rare yeah here there's a 100k pack here um so this would be like the most expensive SBC. it's an 86 rated squad with four team of the week cards for eden hazard um what i'd say is if this was messy it'd be an 88 rated squad with four team of the week cards at minimum maybe even an 89 rated squad so another good safe investment in about a week's time or maybe two weeks time when the hazard hype has died down a little bit or when rewards come out try and snipe or bid on a load of team of the week cards that are higher rated uh if we look at for example um team of the week cards if we look at team of the week cards that are Fairly high rating that um that aren't too expensive. Maybe we go for uh what kind of rating do we go for here? In terms of team of the week cards that are fairly higher rated, that aren't too much. You've got Neto, you've got Manzukic to name a couple of them. Uh, Lucas Leiva's 85 rated and he's 30,000 coins. 24k for 84 rated Xhaka is another cheap one. 20k for 84 rated Petr Cech. 19k for 84 rated Jan Sommer. Uh, there's a lot of cheaper higher rated informs and I'd highly recommend if you can try and bid on a few of these cards to pick them up and even... It might be worth trying to pick up a few UCL cards that are, are fairly cheap as well. Uh, if I was to go and have a look, for example, at Petr Cech's Inform um, and see what he's currently going for on the market, if I set a parameter of maybe like 24,000, uh, let's go 20,000 coins actually. Um, as you see, there's a lot bidding on for like 18,000 coins. It may be worth just slapping a couple bids on for when you see them under 20k because you're guaranteed to make profit on them. And late night bidding especially, Sunday night bidding especially, um, when rewards come out, bidding especially then is fantastic. And the reason bidding so good, for example, when rewards come out or on a Sunday night, there's not a lot of people sat on the market scouring looking for players. Like there really isn't. So you can win a lot more players than you think. And as you see, we won one backer for 450. Yeah, sure, we lost all of these cards, but we won the cheapest one out of all of them. So we won one out of five. And even if you have a one out of five ratio, if you spend an hour bidding, you might even win more than one out of five. If you bid at the right times, you can win easily more, one, more than one out of five. I'm stumbling my words massively here. But the point is, is that bidding is something that is, it's quite tedious. I'm not going to lie to you. It's quite tiring. But if you can be persistent at this and you can really give it a go and not lose your head or get angry after a certain amount of time or maybe just be persistent with with any kind of trading you'll get more coins out of it 100 so if i were you to wrap up this video or to, or to sort of put a list on the video of what i would invest in i would go for some cheap informs that are quite high rated 84 or higher is definitely where i'd go less than 84 and you've got to compensate highly with high rated cards and people don't want to do that uh, so i'd go with maybe some cheap informs go for under twenty thousand coins you're guaranteed to make profit there i would go with any non-rare that is over 82 82 or over so backer um 
I think Trig is Triggy Harrelson on rare this year or was that last year? I'm not entirely sure. However, that's another one. Just bid on those. You'll get them for quite cheap. If you get them for like 5, 500 to 1,000 coins, you're guaranteed to make profit if an SPC comes out. Try and cover bases like Argentinian or La Liga for, for example, Messi. Or maybe go Uruguayan La Liga for Stuani. Or maybe go just Spanish in La Liga for Ibe Gomez. Or Ibe Gomez, not entirely sure how you say that. Um, it, it, it's really your choice as to where you go for it. But I would recommend just b like bidding, honestly. I wouldn't even recommend sniping at this point. Like sniping, yeah, sniping's cool. But I recommend just straight up going for bidding wars or, or just trying to bid in general. Um, I can even sit here and I can go to the La Liga right now with a 700 coin... Uh, max price here and i can find like 82 that but for 700 coins or even 83 for 750 coins it's worth putting a bid on it's 100 worth putting a bid on if you find them um i'd say 850 is probably the max i'll go for an 83 um and and maybe 700 or 750 is the max i go for an 82 so you know and it's all relative to how many coins you make as well if we do get the sbc i think a lot of these cards will shoot up massively in value if we don't get the sbc i think that you know, already selling in the hype, you would have made a lot of coins. So just wait until you see these these the, the card value rise. Um, but if you want to be ballsy, go for it and, and wait to the SBC. But, you know, I will say this, that you've got a very good chance of losing coins if you wait to the SBC. It's all about getting in early and selling early. That is the best way you're going to make coins on all these cards. So that's just it. That, that That's my advice and, and my take on the League of Play of the Month. Uh, I think that we will get this SBC and I'm excited to see if we get this SBC and I'm excited to see the plays that we get. But at the same time, I think that we're going to be so overloaded with content. I, I, from a person that's going to make videos on it, I am not looking forward to the amount of coins it's going to cost me. But if you enjoyed this video, leave a like down below. Subscribe to my channel if you guys are not here. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you lads later.